on the floor Where the boiling ocean connects itself to the sky When a new day starts The clouds, they seem to be smiling There's a comfort in the breeze It's the kind of place you might lose yourself There's a brand new way to breathe And I'm not taking pictures You can ask me all you like I'm engraving all these memories Unwind all a lifetime You'll have to treat the airport Give me one good reason why Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas, and today's surfboard review is on the Miscellaneous by Hayden Shape Surfboards. Now I have two boards. One's custom, this is 5.5 five at 26.46 liters, and then I ordered the smallest stock size they make at 5.5, five, and this comes in at 27.37 liters. Now, almost a liter in difference. We're gonna look at both, we're gonna talk about both, what they felt like under my feet, and when I would choose one over the other. This is gonna be a really fun review, so sit back, get your favorite drink, and enjoy the show. Now, as we dive into this review, I thought we'd do a little different. Let you guys into my thought process when two boards like this come in, I haven't checked out the website, don't know what's going on. What does it feel like under my arm and what are my immediate thoughts? So like you guys, I think we all grab the board, we wanna hold it, wanna feel the rails. We start looking at foil, maybe looking at rocker. And that's exactly what I did. Now, when I first got it in my hand, I'm like, ooh, this board's light. EPS, right? Future Flex. So I'm thinking quick, nimble. It's got the agility I'm looking for with that light feeling. And I'm thinking, okay, wide point. It's a little front from center. There's some good foam up on, under the chest here, so it's gonna be a good paddler right away. That's what I'm thinking. Wide point front from center. It's gonna draw out my turns. It's gonna wanna do some carving. and. With the foil, it's not super bulky up here, right? And as we get back in here to the back, he's tapered it down real nice, so we're gonna be able to sink it quick and get that performance. Now, when I look down, I, it looks like a medium entry rocker to me, and I usually think, okay, if we're thinking small wave, performance twin fin, I'm thinking it's low in my mind because it's hard for me to gauge what the rocker is on some of these boards. It looks relatively flat in the middle, and then I can't tell if it's a medium to low exit rocker. So as I'm thinking in my mind to what is going on right off the bat, I also think about the rails. I'm like, man, this has kind of a hard edge or a sharp rail to it. And it has a down rail. Now that down rail is gonna give me good traction or hold on the face of the wave, but it's hard all the way up into here right? Pretty hard all the way back here. Now back here with that hard edge, I'm used to, but as we get up into here, that's when I start to think, okay, do I want to have a pivot fin so I can get the board um, vertical quicker and not have to worry about this touching the face of the wave as much? So that's kind of where it starts when it goes into my head. And then I'm thinking, okay, what fins? And then I start thinking about looking at the surf report, what kind of waves are gonna to be tomorrow when we're gonna start riding these boards. And if it's smaller, do I want more flotation? Do I want less? Do we want it to be more responsive? Or do we just wanna get a good feel for what the board's gonna do and not have to work as hard? So the first couple of days of testing, the wave forecast is one to two feet with really clean conditions. So I thought, okay, we'll start with the board with more flotation. And I also like that the miscellaneous is designed around the two plus one setup. So I thought, okay, T1s have the twin fin, speed down the line real fast, and then a small center fin, so I have something to pivot off of, and it also has a little extra traction. So right away I'm thinking, twin fin speed with thruster pivot. And I like the T1, it's consistently good for me on a regular basis so I can really feel the board out. Well. I had that first couple waves, the board had that get up and go speed, but the board felt really tight under my feet. And I'm thinking, why does it feel so tight with a two plus one setup? And then it would start, every time I go to hit a turn with all that speed, it would catch up in this area. And that catching is like a stickiness. It's bogging and the, there's a water flood in the deck. And then I have to get that speed up again. So it kept happening consistently through that session and I thought, okay, let's not be overcritical. Go home, study the footage, see if it looks as bad as it feels. 
and it did. So the next thing I did was I went to the Hayden Shape website to learn a little bit more about the attributes so I can make adjustments. So the first thing I looked at at the website was the rocker on the board. And it has a medium entry rocker, it's relatively flat in the belly, and it's low to flat in the tail. So that's pretty typical for a board that you want to get a lot of speed on. And with it having a medium entry rocker, it really shouldn't be catching up here. So I thought, okay, how can I manipulate this board to get it to feel better and do what I want? So I went with a more upright fin. This is the Machado 2 Plus 1, which has less rake. So I'm going to be able to pivot it faster. Now it does have a little bit longer um, pivot center fin, which could tighten it up a little bit, but I'm, I'm really looking for it to loosen it up here. Then the other thing I thought, okay, let's scoot my foot back further and surf it more off my back foot, and that will actually keep this part of the board out of the water too. Now, after doing that, I will say that the board surfed a lot better, but there was still something missing. So now the board's feeling a little bit better. We got a little bit more upright, fin set. I feel like I'm onto something. And one of the other things I was feeling when I was surfing is that most of my, most of my good turns, it wasn't just with my foot all the way back on the kick. It was almost like a part of my foot was back on top of it. And that's where I was getting the, the more crisp turns that I was feeling. So I thought, you know what? I bet my traction isn't back far enough, so I ripped the pad off. And because of where the leash plug is, I had it back as far as it could go, but I still felt like we could go back further. Now, for you guys that don't use a traction pad on twin fin type boards like this, you wouldn't experience this problem and the board would have went great for you right off the bat. But for me, since I'm such a field person and I, and I utilize this pad to put my foot where I want to, it was key that I took the pad off and what I did was, since this is a three piece pad, I took just the middle and I cut just the kick off right here. So I could push the whole thing back maybe two to three inches. And now my foot's right up over that third pivot fin and I can surf this board exactly the way I wanna surf without having to manipulate riding it really hard off the tail. So with that being said, I believe that this Leash plug being in the center is a slight oversight on Hayden's part and it needs to be moved off here to the, to the side. And then we can get that excellent feel, nice, loose. The board's got flow, it's got pivot, I've got speed. Everything I'd expect out of a two plus one setup with this kind of rocker and hold with this kind of rail. Now that I figured it out, we started to dial in fins to get exactly the response we wanted out of this board. So I went with the Aquila Ipa twin fin set. This does not come with a small trailer, but it has a little bit more fin depth. So I felt like I was getting more hold and I could lay into my carves with this fin. And then I went with the T1 trailer, which is a little bit shorter compared to what I was using with the Machado set. Now I did test it with the Machado set, moving the traction pad back. That felt great too, but this was the setup right here. This felt great. And now the board's feeling like it's got twin fin speed. I've got the pivot and the thruster performance feel off the bottom and the board had flow and I didn't have to worry about it catching up here anymore. And it started to surf like the description of how Hayden Shape describes it on his website. So let's look at some waves together. Nice release off that first turn. Again, good release. It feels solid off the bottom too and playful at the top and there's great flow. Not a lot of hesitation in turns. That was a super fun wave. Here's some texture, able to get that rail in the water and give me the traction I'm looking for. Decent turn right there, but this is a nice quick wrap with a little bit of texture on the surface. You see the board's really pivoting well and it's surfing a bit like a thruster, but it has that twin fin speed. Quick wrap right here, watch the wave kind of go flat, little check turn. I see something down the line, there's the speed I want, projection there, and able to finish it strong. Now here's the stock board. This is a great right. It's throwing a lot of spray. This is a lot better wave, but the board's still projecting, coming off the bottom. Maybe not as good flow. You can see I'm doing like two-step bottom turns, but the board seems like it's going a lot faster. There's the projection, quick turn. There's better flow on that little wave right there. Now here's a little left. You can see the board's sitting a little bit more on top of the water, 
but I still feel like the control's decent. Fun little reverse right there. Here's this right, a lot of spray on that one. No more spray, and then the tail gets loose and finish it strong. So after looking at some waves together, the last thing I wanna talk about, where am I getting that hold from? All right, so we've got the down rail. We know that it has that low flat exit rocker, so where's the hold coming from, right? Well, if you look right here, it's got this little wing. Well, that little wing is back further than maybe something that would be normally up here, which is what gives you something to pivot off of, kind of like the Untitled. But with it being back here, the water's gonna break past the fins, it's gonna offer a little bit more hold, and we're still getting that little bit of reduction in surface area, so we're getting the performance feel of that thruster, right? And that's how it felt off the bottom. Solid, on rail, and then good release and good flow. So I really felt like we spent a lot of time on this board, maybe a week longer than we normally do, but the reward was there. It went from a, from a decent review to an excellent one, and I think you guys are gonna like this board. So I'm sure you're thinking, which board did I like better? Let's start with the construction. Future Flex, I'm a huge fan. I like EPS foam core. It's lively underfoot in the one to six foot surf, but he's taking it a step further. I like how he puts the carbon out here on the rail. It gives it that quick snap back and I feel like it helps project in and out of turns. But now let's talk about less flotation or more and what it felt like and what did I prefer. So for me, I felt like the 5.5 with less flotation, I could hold the rail in longer. So I could sink it and hold it for a longer period of time, especially when there was some texture on the surface. So when there's a little bit of chop, there's that bump. With EPS, it sits a little bit more on top of the water, so I wanna keep that rail engaged and have some confidence in my turns. Now, some of the things that I liked about the stock board was that I felt like I was surfing faster, obviously paddling better, but this board seemed to be throwing more water, but I had less control. But I'll say this, for the first time, riding a board that almost has 27 half to 28 liters, I felt like it was super responsive, it was loose, and I really enjoyed surfing it, even though it had a lot of volume, as soon as we moved that traction pad back. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review on the Miscellaneous by Hayden Shapes. I recommend this board for one to five foot surf, for the beginner intermediate, all the way to the pro level. Look, if you like the show, subscribe. You can also find us at surfandshow.com. Special shout out thanks to Hayden Shapes for sending these two boards down for review. But that's it for today. Until next time, see you in the water. Bye-bye. Until I die